Harry Potter fans, and welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. It is just me, and my tea, and my keep collecting box! Yes, it has arrived! I am super excited because the Wizarding Trunk has teamed up with Peter Kenneth, who is the Potter Collector here on YouTube, and this is the second Keep Collecting box collab that they have done, and I am super excited. I missed out on the first one, but I now have my very own box now, and I am super excited to get into it. So let's first take a look at this box. First up, we see it says the Wizarding Tr Trunk Presents. Keep Collecting, the Keep Collecting box, and it has Fragile Delivery, which is Peter's own word. It is a combination of the word Fragile and Magical, so it is Fragile. So without any more further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Alohomora. Alright, so first thing I see in here, oh, we have some super cute designs on the, the box and we have as peter calls them some paper squigglies although to me they shall be always paper wormies if you're unfamiliar with the potter collector i really suggest that you go and check out his fabulous channel because if you love all things harry potter his filming room is to die for because it is covered with thousands of Harry Potter books, different editions, different languages, and it is simply magical. So I'm super excited to look in this box because I have moved some of the squigglies and we have so many goodies in here. Oh my gosh. Now I think if I remember right hearing the theme was Christmas at Hogwarts. So let's see. First thing we have here. Ooh, is a two with something in it. <gasps> Ooh, what could this be? I'm super excited. Can you tell how excited I am? All right, let's see what we have. It looks like some prints. <gasps> Ooh, is this a book cover? <gasps> Ooh, we have a book cover and it is gilded because we all know my guilty pleasure is gold leaf. <gasps> So it is a book cover and it is Do It Yourself, A Sweeping Guide to Broom Care. It is so cool. Oh my gosh. I wonder if this will fit on one of my editions of Harry Potter. It looks like it's a little too narrow. I'm just going to have to find the perfect size book for this. Or maybe it will say on the spoiler card, which I have not seen yet. More squigglies. Get those out of the way. Next, Ooh, we have something super cozy. It looks like we have some cozy socks. Oh, and we have one of each. So on one we have R's for Ron and H's for Harry. Oh, Molly Weasley would be so proud. So this is from the first Christmas and holidays at Hogwarts. Oh, those are going to be so cute to wear. It will go great with my uniform. Alrighty, up next. I don't know where to go next. I don't know where to go next. I'm just going to pop my hand in here. Ooh. We have a beautiful tin. No way. I think this was one of the spoilers when he announced the Keep Collecting box. He mentioned something chocolate frog. Oh my giddy aunt. We have a hot chocolate frogs in the coolest tin ever. I mean, even the calories look pretty. Instructions. Oh my gosh, even the bottom. So instructions. Simply blend three tablespoons of mix with eight fluid ounces of warm steamed milk <sighs> so here is our cocoa oh Ooh, and it smells so good i cannot wait 
to try this while I'm on my Christmas break here at Hogwarts. Ah! No, no, it's gonna sit right here next to my Mina Lima. Okay, okay, okay. Should I go for a pretty box or should I go for a plain box? I don't know. I'm gonna go for the plain box. Okay, so plain box. Yes! Yes! I'm so excited! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Mm. If you know my channel, you know me and my tea. I have a thing for several things. Books, lush bath bombs, and quite the addiction to mugs. Oh, and it's the most beautiful tin mug ever because it has owl post on it. Look at that! It is so beautifully illustrated. Oh, it looks like I'm going to be getting my broom for Christmas this year. Oh my gosh! And it'll be perfect to have the cocoa in. Oh. Peter, you're doing such a great job with designing so far. So far, it's a four out of four fabulous. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, it looks like we have another plain box. It's just a little brown one. <sighs> Cannot wait to see what is in here. Ooh, it's wrapped in bubble wrap. <gasps> oh. Oh, man. It is an ornament. And it is one of the little chess pieces from Ron's Christmas chess set. I loved that scene so much when I was little because I always thought that was so cool. Chess pieces that could move by themselves. Oh my gosh. I wonder if everybody got the same piece though. Because I feel like this would be something that um, if there was going to be something that there was a variety of that it would be the chess pet chess pieces because you know you could be a king a queen a rook a bishop a knight or a queenside castle oh, oh my gosh so cool you're gonna go right here and then when i put my christmas tree up you are going on my christmas tree more paper squigglies yes geneva it looks like something to play with doesn't it Ooh. A velvety pouch. What is in the velvety pouch? It is backwards. <gasps> oh my gosh. We have a pin. We have a huge pin of the three broomsticks at Christmas. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful it is. And the snow sparkles. Oh. Oh, I am ready for it to be Christmas right now. And I want to go to Hogsmeade's. I want to go to the sweet shop. I want to go to the three broomsticks. And maybe later we'll go to the shrieking shack. But right now I am at the three broomsticks. And I am absolutely loving it. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Peter, this is absolutely amazing. Oh. oh, we have another pouch, only this time it is green velvet. <sighs> okay, this is seriously cool, and it has a lot of heft and weight to it. Geneva, are you up? Are you going to come tell everybody hi? Nope, it looks like my Patronus is wandering off to make mischief. Okay, so on this side we have a hog's head. If it will focus. There we go. And then this says, redeem for complimentary beverage during holiday break. So it is a... Um, Drinks token for Butterbeer. Oh my gosh. It is so cool. 
because I remember local shops when I was little giving out tokens like these during fall festivals and winter breaks, so that is so cool, and it just brings up happy memories. <sighs> Neato! Okay, up next. Ah, okay, let's see. There's some paper here at the bottom. I'm gonna slide... <gasps> Ooh! Okay, so I'm gonna take some of the big things off of the top so that we can get to some things down at the bottom. Ooh! 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 But first I found something. What is this? Is this a key? Oh my gosh, did we get a key? We got a key. Y'all, we got a key. <gasps> we have the key to the Yule Ball. Oh my gosh, if it will focus. Akio focus. It is stunning. The little key part down at the bottom is a snowflake. And it kind of looks like the invitation from the films. Pretty. Oh, it's gonna sit right here. Okay, I need to get down to the bottom part without getting distracted again. Ooh, fine, we gotta get distracted again because we have another cute, super cute box. And on the back here, it says only the purest of potions, pure blood apothecary, peppermint leaves. <gasps> Oh, this is so cool! So, like, instead of a potion, we have a potions ingredients box. That is so cool. I have never seen that done before. Because normally they're like, like, here. They're like, the potion is pre-made in the bottle. But this is so clever because it's the, it's the ingredients. That is so cool! Oh... Ooh, Peter, idea. If you do another keep collecting box. I'd love to see your uh, idea of a Bezor and a Bezor box. That would be really cool. Okay, so that one's gonna go right here. Okay, now we're now we're to the looks like some papery bits down here at the bottom. Oh nope, that is the spoiler card. Ooh. But it looks like we have a staying at school for the holiday days list for students so parent or guardian permission letter received yes or no students name the back is really nice and aged there's kind of a bit of a watermark here and I think this is super neat because isn't in the um, third book film McGonagall has the list for students and permission letters received could that be could this be for Hogsmeade Staying at school for holidays and Hogsmeade. That is why I'm gonna think it is. But this is so neat. I might um, make a copy of this and have it out at Christmas for when the family gets together and everyone can sign their names on here. I think that would be really fun. Okay, next. <gasps> oh, ooh, ah, hee, ah, ooh, ah. Wait, we have, looks like some envelopes. We have Christmas cards! Oh, we have Christmas cards. We have Christmas cards. And they are all different and they're all magical. And I love them all. And they are going. I'm not sending these out. These are staying in my room. Because, okay. Wait, do they say stuff on the inside? They are blank on the inside. So the first one is a tree with Nagini putting the star on top. We have some Cornish pixies. And we have Bugbeak. Oh my gosh. That is fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need a little time to put this together, so one moment please. Alrighty, I am back and I have just put it together. It is a chocolate frog box and it came with its own card. I have received Merlin and there is his fabulous information on the back and if you also got a keep collecting box let me know if maybe your card was different too again I think that'd be really cool if there was maybe different um, chocolate frog cards that were included in the boxes up next 
I see something that, again, I am super excited for because on the tag it says, use it well, and that makes me think of one thing, and it looks like it too. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. So we have a little tag. It says, use it well, and I'm going to open it up and see what it is. It is the design of the invisibility cloak. Oh, I think it's a pillowcase. Oh, that is so cool. I have some throws pillows that will look absolutely fantastic in here. <gasps> Yay! Ah, oh, magical, magical, magical. Okay, we have two boxes left. Should we go with the big box or the skinny box? I think we should go with the big box. Alrighty. So, again, another super cute package. It looks like it has been sealed with twine and wax. Ooh. And it ha looks like this is a fragile item because there is styrofoam around it. <gasps> oh my gosh! I'm gonna. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna cry. Oh! It's a snow globe, and it's well, it's Hagrid's bike, but we all know that Sirius had it first. But it it has a. It has the bike in there, and in the buddy seat, there is a little Christmas tree all decorated. It's gonna make me cry because since Robbie Coltrane just passed away, and I just love Taggart so much, aww, I'm feeling a bit clumped. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, I'll give you a topic. Discuss among yourselves. If you watch SNL, that skit, you know that skit, but oh my gosh. It's going to go right there, and it's probably going to stay there the rest of the year. Okay. Okay. I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Last box. Okay. Again, it looks like it's been wrapped beautifully. <gasps> it's a wand, you guys. You guys. You guys. It's a wand. It's a wand. It is a Christmas wand. Oh. It looks like the decorations from the films, and it has evergreen boughs on it. Oh my gosh. Peter, this is my favorite item ever. Oh my gosh. It is beautiful. Okay, we're going to look at our spoiler card now. So here it is, our keep collecting spoiler card, spoiler sheet, and... Here we have the back. Oh, the motorbike snow globe is so magical. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, everybody. This has been epic, fantastic, brilliant. I'm at a complete loss for words, Peter. And um, Wizarding Trunk, 10 out of 10, I would recommend. I mean, this box is so magical, and I cannot wait to see if you have something else planned. And if this is only the if this is the last one, I loved it, and I'm glad I was able to get it. Um, I think it might still be available right now, so I'll leave a link down below if it is. But um, and now it's time to um, like, comment, subscribe, and um, until next time keep collecting, and I'll see you all later. Bye! Oh, I think we all have to admit it. She's definitely the ultimate paw-ter collector. <laughs>